What's up everyone, my name is Kyler Steele. I'm a photographer based in New Jersey. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five tips inside of Lightroom to help edit your photos. Tip number one is to change your composition guidelines inside of the crop menu by pressing the O key. Changing your composition guidelines can help you compose your image in post by exposing you to new guides such as the golden ratio. This can also help you compose images straight out of your camera once you learn these guidelines. Tip number two is to use the eyedropper tool to get a proper white balance. A lot of times our camera's auto white balance can shift the photo too much to the yellow or too much to the blue, depending on what colors are inside of the photo. When you get to post, you can use the eyedropper tool to select a neutral area, and this is gonna give you a proper white balance. Tip number three is to use the selector tool inside of the tone curve menu. A lot of times we wanna get a standard S curve to add contrast to our photo. When we use the selector tool, we can accurately pick where the shadows and the highlights are, and we can create a more accurate S curve to get the best contrast inside of our photo. Tip number four is to use the refine saturation slider inside the tone curve menu. A lot of times when we add an S curve to our photo, we are adding both contrast and saturation. For photos that have already had the proper amount of saturation before this tone curve is applied, it can oversaturate the photo. The refined saturation slider allows us to bring down that saturation that was added from the tone curve and only add contrast to the image. Tip number five is to use the invert on your selection mask to expand the amount of options that you have in your selection menu. A lot of times people will use the select sky option to edit their sky, but you can also use the selection mask and then invert it to select your foreground. This is really good because if you have a properly exposed and saturated sky, then you can invert this mask and then properly expose your foreground. You can also use this with any other selection mask such as select subject to edit around your subject. You can bring down the exposure to get a nice vignette around your subject. So those are five tips to help you edit your photos inside of Lightroom. If you're interested in coloring your photos, I've done another video with b &H on five coloring tips, so check that out. If you wanna see more of my work, you can follow me at Kyler Steele on any social media. Thank you guys for watching.